Okay children, how are you today? Um, I'm going to do the third lesson of this week's phonics, okay? And we're going to start with our fastest finger first sheets, okay? Instead of doing the flashcards, we'll do our fastest finger first. Now this is almost all of the graphemes that we've learned so far. I'm just going to come around the side so I can, you can see my fastest finger first. Remember, you can make one of these at home with all the phonemes and graphemes we've learned so far. Okay. Now, uh, you might have to point to the screen for this one. Are you ready? Can you find the phoneme and the grapheme? S Which one is it? Here it is. Well done. Now, ah. Can you find ah? Here it is. Well done. The children in school have been really good at this fastest finger first this week. Let's see if we can do better. Okay, are you ready? The next one is t. Where is t? Here it is. Well done if you got that one. And the next one is p. p. Here it is. Well done. Okay, can you find i? Where is i? Here it is. Well done. Okay, can you find n? There in the corner. Well done. Now, can you find D, D. Here it is down the bottom in red. It's one of our red ones. Okay. The next one I want you to find is G. There we go. Remember, you can pause this at any time if I'm going a bit fast. Right. Can you find the O? Oh, the grapheme for O. Oh. Here it is over here. And now we're going to find a curly K. Where is curly k? Here it is. Well done. Now, can you find the last one? Kicking k. Where is it? Here it is. It's an orange one, isn't it? Well done if you found all of those graphemes. That's all of the ones that we've learned so far. Okay, but this week we have been learning a new one. So, I'm going to show you the flashcard. Here it is. Okay, we learnt this in the last lesson, and remember, I said that this one was a digraph. A digraph is two letters that make one phoneme, and it's a consonant digraph. It's a k phoneme, a k. And we learned that this letter C, a curly k, makes a k on its own, and this letter K, a kicking k, makes a k on its own, but they also make that k when they're together. And we find this one usually at the end of words. Sometimes it's in the middle, but the easiest ones to learn are the ones where it's at the end. So, I'm going to show you the pictures again. Can you remember these ones? Okay, we had a rock. And we had net. And we had a clock. We had a brick. And we had a chick. All of those had the k at the end, this digraph, right? And we sang a song, can you remember? Okay, I'm going to stick my pictures on. And we'll sing Mrs. Hall's song, because there wasn't a new Jolly Folly phonics song for this one because we already have two for the k phoneme, our clicking castanets and our cats are flying in the sky. So on my board I've got a clock, a brick and a chick. Clock, brick, chick. Okay let's sing our song. Are you ready? Clock and brick and little chick, little chick, little chick. Clock and brick and little chick say k, k, k at the end. Fantastic. Well done if you got all those right. Okay, now yesterday we had a go at writing um, that grapheme. So we're going to have another go today. We're going to have a go first at reading it in words. Um, and then at the end we will write our own words. So the first word we're going to write is this one. I'll write it on my board. 
and then we can segment and blend to read it. Okay, we're going to add our phoneme buttons like we usually do. Oh, I'm going to use a join for my CK at the end, right? Okay, here is the word that I want us to read today. Can you see it? Let me just spin around to make sure that I can show you really clearly. Okay, at the beginning, what is this phoneme? Can you remember? It was the last one that we learned last week and it was a k, wasn't it? I'm going to give it a phoneme button. Now the next one. You know it really, really well, this one. Remember, Inky the Mouse is my pet. It was an I. So, I've got a K and an I. Now, when we see a digraph, two letters that make one phoneme, we use a line. Sometimes we call it a phoneme bar, but it's just a line, okay? Because it's still one phoneme. When I press my phoneme buttons, we're going to have a go at segmenting and blending that word to read. Are you ready? K, I, K. Okay, should we do it a bit faster this time? K, I, K. K, I, K. K, I, K. Can you work out what the word is? K, I, K is kick. Like kick. A football, well done, but don't kick your brother or sister. Oh my goodness, no, just stick to footballs. Okay, I'm going to rub that one out. We're going to try a different one now. Are you ready? Let me have a look. We're going to try this one. Okay. Here. Oh, hang on a minute. I think I'm going to do the wrong one. Okay. Now, I'm going to help you out a little bit with this one because there is a graph in here that I haven't taught you yet. We will be learning it though soon. So the first letter here is long and tall. You might already know it, but it is a L. Okay, this is a L phoneme. Can you say that to your adult at home? L. We see your tongue for that one. I'll give you that one. Okay, phoneme button for the next one. What's this one? It's an I, okay? And the last one we're going to put a phoneme bar or a line, whatever you want to call it. And that is our new phoneme grapheme, a K. Okay, let's have a look. Can you remember this first one was a U, okay? U, I, K. U, I, K. U, I, K. I think I'd like to all oh, ick a lovely lollipop or ice cream. What's the word? Oh, ick. Lick. Very good. Okay. Well done if you got that one as well. Right. I think we can have a go at writing one of these words now. So go back to the first one that we did and it was kick. Now for this I might use my line side to make my letters a little bit neater. We're going to have a go at writing the word kick. Now we saw it at the beginning and it begins with what phoneme? Kick. That's right, it was a k. Now which one was it? Was it a curly k or a kicking k? Can you remember? Okay, it was a kicking k. Right. Let's see if we can write it together. You can have a go at home too. It went down, halfway up, loop and kick. That was the first phoneme. Shall I give it a phoneme button? K, k, k. Right, kick. What do I need next? Shall we use our rover art? Kick. K, I, k. Ooh, what was in the middle? K, I, k. I think it was an I. We know how to do that one, it's really easy. Down with a flick and a dot on the top. I, k, I. Now we need our digraph at the end, our other k, our new one. Let me show you. Two letters that make one phoneme. Shall we have a go at joining it and see if you can have a go at home? Oh, goodness me, ready for a challenge. We go over, round, don't stop. Up, 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 up. Down, half 
halfway up, loop and kick. <gasps> kick, that was the word that we were writing. Let's give it our phoneme bar and check that we've got all our phonemes and graphemes correct. K, it, k makes kick. Hooray, we wrote a word using our new grapheme. Why don't you have a go if you can, uh, have a go at home and see if you can write some words with the k in it, our new one, chick and rock and sock. All of those, were, oh, we should have written sock, shouldn't we? That would have been a good one. You try it at home then, okay. Bye for now.